you guys, this is a quick get ready to get ready with me video. So this is what I'm looking like now, but this is not how the video began. So you'll see in a second how the video book started. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the video in its entirety if you can or skip through whatever you're going to do. But, you know, hope you enjoy what I did. Um, so, I, yeah, so I hope you like this look and stay tuned for the, well, this is the end result, right? The whole end result with my outfit and everything put together. So I see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye. So you guys, it's me, Bless Me Twice, coming at you with another one. As you can see, I'm looking crazy. This is an impromptu video because I had a rough week. Today, basically what happened was, my friend hit me up and was like, Oh, are you going to make it tonight at 9 o'clock? I'm like, ooh, 9 o'clock, what's at 9 o'clock? I'm like, you know, you don't want to be like, what's at 9 o'clock? So I just waited. And then she was like, oh, my birthday dinner. And I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot her birthday. And I forgot her dinner. And this is what I look like. So I went to my local beauty supply and I said, I'm going to do a ponytail. I never do ponytails because I can never get my hair flat. You know, it's like a real hassle for me. So I never do them. But today, I'm going to attempt it. And I found this damn ponytail. Ooh, they can see my ponytail outside. This is the sensational... Game Changer XL. That's what it looks like. And this is what I'm going to attempt. Again, I don't know how this is going to turn out. This could be a disaster. Do not know. This is the girl in the picture. She looks cute. I'm going to try the low one. Because it's high one. I don't like that hump. So, it's a drawstring ponytail. It's like a big, curly, kinky kind of ponytail. Which, it looks really cute to me here. This is $14. Thank you very much. I'm going to go take care of my hair. And we're gonna see how this turns out. Okay, so, ta da! I actually did it. Yeah, so I slicked it down. I used the rest of my Eco Style Gel. Luckily, I don't know if you can see it on the bed in the back. I bought an extra one because I know I'm gonna need it for the other days. And I knew I would finish the rest of this one. Um,. Yeah, so I'm very happy. So now I'm going to braid this puff down to put the ponytail on and like wrap it around. But in the meantime, I'm going to slick it just a tad bit more. Then take these wraps, you know, the little head wraps. And about two of them and wrap them around my edges and my head because I want it to stay flat. So I am going to do that. And then I'll be back in a little bit. So stay tuned. I look a little better. I don't look as raggedy. So I'm gonna start my makeup now. We are going to Don Coquille in Astoria. If you don't know what that is, if you're from New York, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. So it's nothing too crazy. my spiked eyebrow pencil so I'm on a little break from work um for you guys who know I am a nurse I'm an LPN so and right now I'm going to school for my RN um, I know that there was a couple people I had mentioned it in a video before and a couple people were asking me some questions about it and stuff um, but yeah and you know let's go talk about work for a second because I it's a fulfilling job and you know, I get paid decently and everything and you know you would think that you will be happy in the job you're doing you went to school for you know unless you wanted to do so bad but it's like i'm over it right now i'm over it's not even the nursing that i'm over i'm just over the freaking facility that i work at i think that's what it is i'm not sure do i just need a little break i don't know i'm really 
And then part of me is like, is it just because I'm trying, I'm going to school and I'm working at the same time because I go to a private school, very expensive, you know, I have to pay for it. Um, and I'm just like, come on, like I just need a freaking break. So I don't know if it's the job itself that I'm tired of or it's just like the stress of everything and trying to balance school and work at the same time. I think that might be it. The reason I became LPN was because it was at the point in my life, if y'all went, I'm 28, okay? I was at a point where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. At the time I was working at Home Depot, I was just really over at not having a career. I was over not having a career and just working like these day-to-day -day jobs that wasn't really in my eyes. In my eyes wouldn't get me anywhere. So that's why I turned to being a LPN. It was quick. Um, I was didn't really want to dive straight into nursing because I felt like, what happened if I don't like it? That's a lot of schoolwork. That's a lot of time. A lot of money. So, um, you know, at the time, <clears throat> that's part of the reason why I jumped into being an LPN and not just going straight to my RN. A lot of people have that, um, like, should I do it, should I not? I always say that um, if you're unsure that you want to be in that field, I would just say do the LPN. But then just keep in mind, it like, it, it's really what works for you at that time or point in your life. If you're like 19, I say just go straight to do your RM. You know what I mean? If you like, if you know that's what you want to do and all that stuff, if you are. But if you're like my age, I started when I was like, wait, I'm 28. I started when I was 26. So I went to school when I was 26. So I was 26 and I wasn't sure. Like, you know, I know a lot of LPNs who go to be LPN and they don't want to be an RN. People go, to, people go like, why don't they want to be an RN? Because sometimes they have other plans. You know what I mean? Like, they have other plans for their life. They have other things that they want to do. And, like, a job like an LPN is a great foundation. Like, it's something that you'll always have. As long as you don't mess it up. And, you know, it's decent income. And that can help. <clears throat> that can help be, like, that gives you money to do. It gives you money to put towards what you really want to be doing in life. To so start your stuff up. This is the P. Louise eye primer, which I forgot that I had until I just saw it. So right now I'm just taking a little break just to like relax, do some schoolwork, and really figure out what I um, want to do next, like when I'm talking about work, you know? Yep. So I think I'm just going to do a wash of color on the eyelid. So as you can see, I really did not like the way the eyeshadow came out. So I totally took it off and I started all over again. Okay, so as you saw, I took it all off because I was aggravated by how it looked. I did not like how it looked. So I took it off. <clears throat> what else? So now I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer. Amand, as usual. The Amand. And I just apply my, my concealer like I always have get my little triangle to give my face a little lift a little shape so it doesn't be so round i realized that i must have deleted the clip of me applying my foundation so just for reference i so you know i put on the nars sheer glow foundation before i had to go off the eyeshadow to redo it so i do have on foundation just to make it look like the lip from within so all the colors like going in from inner to outer this is walnut which is a little bit more yellow 
and less beige compared to caramel. Okay. Oh man, I meant to put my, my blush on. I mean my bronzer, whatever. I like to have the concealer blend into the bronzer a bit. It just makes it look more like airbrush. You know what? I'm supposed to leave it alone. So once you start messing with the brow too much, it get a little wild on you. So once again, I'm going back in my eyeliner and re-adding that back on. Lashes. Well, this lash that don't have no name on it, and I like it already. Y'all see it? Oh, it's pretty. It's a little long. I could cut it, but I don't feel like doing that, so I'm not gonna do it. It's a little bit long. To me, just the shadow was like too much. I just want a clean look for tonight. I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. And um, this one is in the color what? Mahogany. Usually I would go in with the Fenty uh, matchsticks and really shape my face out, but I'm not about to do that right now. I gotta go. Ooh, <laughs> cheekbones. Woo! My favorite boring old blush that I use in every video, Raisin, because that's my blush I like to use. Isn't it weird how we paint our faces? I think that's so weird when I think about it. Like, we literally, like, paint our faces. Like, we paint our skin. That's weird to me when I think about it like that. That just add, like, a little bit of glimmer. See? It's, like, very subtle. I know some people like the blinged out. I don't really like blinged out. Uh, see, it's young. I don't like it. Not that I don't like it. I don't like it on me. I feel like I look like too much. But I do like to see it on other people. It looks nice. So now I'm gonna put on lipstick. So right now tonight I'm gonna use my um LA Girl Secret lipstick. It's just a red, really nice. I had this for forever. Thing. Okay, this is oh god, I'm literally gonna mess up my hair before I even leave the house. So I try to do a ponytail 
and I'm keeping on it. It was supposed to be a low ponytail, but it ended up being a semi high ponytail, I guess. That's what this looks like. So, oh, this looks cute. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Like, this is like a big old ponytail. It's huge. Like, literally, okay, this is all of the ponytail. Like, isn't that crazy, y'all? Look how big it is. I know the package said XL, but I didn't think it was going to be that big. Maria, Maria. <laughs> Don't play. Stop. Stop playing with me. Stop playing the weather. Stop playing. I never wear my hair back. I think I should wear it back more often. I actually kind of like it. Okay, guys, that's the face look. That's my going out, getting ready quick. Um, My quick get ready with me when you forgot you had something to do and you gotta go do it and you're gonna go rush to do it. There you go. I did my hair. I did my makeup. Now I'm gonna put on my clothes and I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna try to record. I'm gonna try to take pictures. Either one, I'm gonna put them in here. So clearly that was a major lie because I didn't even get to take one decent picture. So I'm sorry guys about that. But please, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.